This video will compare hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism in terms of clinical feature, lab investigations, and iodine uptake. What's the action of thyroid hormones on nervous system? How cretinism causes mental retardation? Thyroxine is essential for normal synapse development and myelination. In hypothyroid infants, synapse develop abnormally and myelination is defective and mental development is seriously retarded. Mental changes are irreversible if replacement therapy is not begun soon after birth. Second action of thyroxine on normal neuron is that thyroxine increases responsiveness to catecholamine that activates the reticular activating system and it also increases the number of beta adrenergic receptors. Increased responsiveness of catecholamine increases hyperactivity, nervousness, hyperreflexia and irritability. Increased beta adrenergic receptors along with catecholamine increased responsiveness causes fine tremor. However, catecholamines have no calorigenic action in the absence of thyroid gland. What's the treatment for these tremors and increased sweating in hyperthyroidism. Tremors and sweating can be reduced or abolished by drugs or surgery. Drugs that abolish them are beta blockers like propranolol and atinanol. Reserpine also inhibits that. And in this surgery, it's a sympathectomy that abolishes tremors and sweating. The reaction time of a stretch reflex is decreased in hyperthyroidism and increased in hypothyroidism. So what happens in hypothyroidism that there is impaired memory and loss of concentration. There is hypertonia and hyporeflexia and carpal tunnel syndrome. What's carpal tunnel syndrome? It's the compression of the median nerve in the flexor retinaculum due to edema. The reaction time of a stretch reflex is increased in hypothyroidism a pendulous knee jerk. There are slow movement and his speech is clumsy. Dementia and psychosis also occurs in hypothyroidism. So what's the difference in weight gain and weight loss in hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism? In hyperthyroidism, there is weight loss despite increased appetite. There is increased metabolism, negative nitrogen balance, muscle wasting and proximal myopathy. And there is diarrhea also. Whereas in hypothyroidism, there is weight gain and there is mixed edema. Why is there is weight gain in hypothyroidism. The weight gain is due to fluid retention and why the fluid retention is due to increased dermal glycosaminoglycans that traps water causing non-pitting edema. There is puffiness of the face and non-pitting pretibial edema. Why there is dyspnea, deafness and hoarseness in hypothyroidism? One answer, fluid accumulation. Dyspnea is due to pleural effusion. Deafness is conductive deafness and is due to fluid accumulation in the middle ear and hoarseness is due to fluid accumulation in the vocal cords. Cardiovascular system. In hypothyroidism in cardiovascular system there is bradycardia, decreased stroke volume, increased peripheral resistance, cold extremities and hypertension. Pericardial effusion occurs in 30% of patients. Whereas in hyperthyroidism, sinus tachycardia is the most common cardiac feature. There is bounding pulse, white pulse pressure, high cardiac output failure, atrial fibrillation that causes mural thrombus formation and a mural thrombus formation leads to a stroke. Treatment for this atrial fibrillation is comedy in group of anticoagulants. There is also a aortic systolic murmur. Cutaneous visit dilatation in hyperthyroidism is equal to opening an AV fistula. Effects on carbohydrate and on liver. Thyroid hormone increases carbohydrate absorption from GIT and in hyperthyroidism increased action or increased responsiveness of epinephrine increases glycogenolysis and leads to hyperglycemia. Increased action of epinephrine in hyperthyroidism keeps the liver glycogen depleted and makes the liver vulnerable to injury. What happens to thyroid hormone in liver failure. In liver failure, there is decreased metabolism of thyroxine that leads to increased toxicity of the hormone. What's the effect of thyroxine on cholesterol metabolism? Thyroxine lowers the circulating cholesterol level. How does it do that? It is due to the increased formation of low density lipoprotein receptors. So in hyperthyroidism, the cholesterol level is lower and in hypothyroidism, there is hypercholesterolemia. A skin, bone and electrolyte difference in hypo and hyperthyroidism. In hyperthyroidism, the skin is warm, moist, sweating, and there is heat intolerance 
pulmonary edema and onycholysis whereas in hypothyroidism there is pallor and yellowish tint of the skin why there is yellowish tint of the skin because of the accumulation of beta carotene thyroid hormones are required for the hepatic conversion of beta carotene to vitamin a the skin is dry and thin and hair also dry and thin there is thinning of the outer one third of the eyebrows and the nail growth is retarded extremities are cold in hypothyroidism and in hyperthyroidism there is heat intolerance and in hypothyroidism there is cold intolerance amongst the electrolyte in hyperthyroidism there is hypokalemic periodic paralysis and there is increased catabolic activity that leads to muscle breakdown and bone resorption leading to creatinuria and in the bone it leads to bone resorption leads to hypercalcemia osteoporosis osteopenia growth in children in hypothyroidism is slow delayed facial maturation risk of autoimmune thyroid disorders of hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism or grave disease is increased in siblings genetic factors including polymorphism in HLA DR and CTLA4 contribute to graves disease susceptibility to graves disease in monozygotic twin is 20 to 30% and less than 5% in dizygotic twins best genetic risk factor for autoimmune hypothyroidism is HLA DR polymorphism there is a relationship between autoimmune hypothyroidism and type 1 diabetes addison disease tenacious anemia and vitiligo increased iodine intake increases the prevalence of graves disease also increased iodine consumption makes a person susceptible to autoimmune thyroiditis leading to goiter and hypothyroidism food that cause hypothyroidism are thiocyanate in cassava and brassica family or selenium deficiency also cause hypothyroidism Increased iron supply as in shellfish and kelp leads to autoimmune disorders including hypo and hyperthyroidism. Amongst the drugs that cause hypothyroidism are radioiodine, antithyroid drugs, amiodarone and lithium. Amiodarone is a drug that can also cause hyperthyroidism due to high content of iodine in that. The anemia in hyperthyroidism is microcytic and also thrombocytopenia whereas in hypothyroidism anemia is normocytic. Ophthalmo Pathy occurs in hyperthyroidism, but 5 to 10 percent of the patient with hypothyroidism may also develop ophthalmopathy. Body evaluation. TSH is increased in hypothyroidism and unbound T4 is decreased. Whereas in hyperthyroidism, TSH is decreased and unbound T4 is increased. But unbound T4 may be normal in hyperthyroidism. In that case, T3 may be increased and that is T3 thyrotoxicosis, the antibodies. Thyroid peroxidase antibody is the most common can be detected in both Graves disease or hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Almost all patients with autoimmune hypothyroidism and 80% with grave disease have thyroid peroxidase antibodies at a high level. TPO antibodies are present in more than 90% of patients with op- autoimmune hypothyroidism. The other antibodies, TSI antibodies are present in hyperthyroidism and TBI, thyroid receptor blocking antibodies may are present in hypothyroidism in 20% of patients. Radio iodine uptake is decreased in hypothyroidism and radio iodine uptake is increased in hyperthyroidism. In Graves disease there is homogeneously increased stressor uptake whereas stressor uptake in subacute thyroiditis is very low because of the follicular cell damage whereas in subacute or silent thyroiditis also there is low radio iodine uptake. Tracer uptake is also low in thyrotoxicosis factitia. In non-toxic goiter, T4 is low, but radioiodine uptake is increased in iodine deficiency. Why T4 is low in non-toxic goiter? It's due to increased conversion of T4 to T3. In thyroid hormone resistance, both TSH and T4s are increased, and the condition is due to a mutation in the beta thyroid hormone receptors. Whereas in TSH producing pituitary tumor, secondary hyperthyroidism, TSH and T4 both increased and there is an increase in radio iodine uptake. Whereas in hypopituitarism, both TSH and T4 are decreased. In toxic multinodular goiter, TSH is decreased and there are heterogeneous radio iodine uptake with multiple regions of increase and decrease uptake. And in hyperfunctioning solitary nodule or toxic adenoma, single nodule, focal increase in radio iodine uptake in the hyperfunctioning nodule and decreased radio iodine uptake in remaining of the normal clan.